Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another tutorial for the Shabby Travel Journal. Um, just as a reminder, the Shabby Travel Journal is the grand prize for the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. It is the grand prize. There will be other prizes. I'm probably going to pick four people. And uh, in order to qualify, you need to be a resident of the United States or Canada and you need to be a subscriber on the channel and then you're going to want to go back and check out all the videos in the tra Shabby Travel Journal playlist because what I am um, requesting of people is for you to go ahead and like those videos, leave a comment um, telling us, sharing with us two of your favorite YouTube creators that you watch. I'm um, creating a list and I'm going to start doing shout outs on my channel after this drawing closes and I'm just going to tick off that list and I'm just going to start sharing creators um, for other people to know because so many creators have been shared with me that I have never heard of them. A lot of them I've heard of because I get around on YouTube but a lot of them I have not and I, I haven't had a chance to check them out yet but I am keeping a list. So today we're working on and then um, when I get to the last ephemera making video for the Shabby Travel Journal I will let you guys know because probably a week after that I will do the drawing so I'll give you time and I'll, I'll say that in the last video I'll give you time to get out there and catch up on any watching and any commenting so that you can be eligible so here we go so I watched um, an older video by Shana over at Shinoki Art and she basically took these large larger I should have had this at the top pardon me these larger um, book pages and she made tags out of them so this is my sample and again, we're making these for the Shabby Travel Journal. So isn't that adorable? This is a stamp. I'm also using my Your Creative Studio. I believe it was the January 2023 box. Um, I'll confirm that uh, for sure. And I will link all of their information so you can head on over and check them out. Their boxes are phenomenal. They're $39.80. And they are just chock full of stuff everything pretty much everything in the in the subscription box has four of everything so the papers there there's a thicker paper there's a sticker paper there's a vellum paper and then there's another lightweight paper and they're just they're just phenomenal so I'm going to be sharing some of those supplies in today's video as well I will also link the um, unboxing video so you guys can check out everything that was in that box but this is what we're going to make now typically I would cover this with um, something to write on but I think what I'll do since I already stitched and all of that stitched my little um, my little tab on there I think I'm just gonna um, like do a scrappy bit here and just put a writing space on there uh, so that whoever gets the journal will have something to write on. And I took one of the stamps from the kit and I stamped it here on the um, on the book page and I think it looks really really great and I think I'm going to come back and do this again and do some some inking as well like use some distress oxide sprays or something and give these a little bit more color but I think for today this is very simple and easy and um, my renowned clusters that I love making so um, all of these are pieces from your creative studio this is a vellum piece this is a little um, paper uh, it's only about that big I hope you guys can see that not very big um, in its original size and I tear all that down and then there's another base piece and then some coffee dyed lace from my stash so that's what we're going to be making today so I'm going to set that one aside and I already made some up just because I was playing around so what I'll do is when I get ready to sew around these I'll ink these that I had already sewed and then we'll go on from there but I want to show you how we folded them so again I watched Shinoki art um, and so I will be sure to um, to link her as well because it's a your creative studio um, project though I won't be linking Shinoki art in the title of my video because I need to link your creative studio so uh, please check out the links below in the description box these are all the bits that we're going to be using so we will talk about those in a momento so what we do is we've got these are I have a really big old um, Heidi book 
um, that I got at an antique shop, so I thought it would be perfect. At first I thought it was too frail to uh, uh, the paper, but it's not. It, it folded nicely, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to fold this in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to fold that in half, and then we're going to fold it in half again up to the top. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is I don't, I generally like my tags to be a little bit bigger, but I actually decided also that I think this, I'm going to make this a tuck spot because it's a little bit, I mean, it's not, the profile's not terrible, but there is a little bit of bulk there, not too bad. So I may decide to make this into a corner tuck and just glue on this side and this side and have it be a tuck something can go behind there. So maybe we'll come back and we'll make some journal cards or something out of some more of the your Creative Studio um, beautiful stuff. So basically that's what you do. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this one first uh, and then we'll move on. Um, this is actually a coloring page. I didn't do that. I think that the, whoever owned it, the little girl that owned it, did that. And then I, I was testing some stamps on that side. So I'm just gonna fold this side in and um, just so I don't waste it. So you, again, you fold it the long way, long ways, and then you fold it again in the other direction. Not being too particular about straight edges or anything. In fact, I might grab my distressing tool and do a little bit of distressing on this. I meant to do that on the other one. I wonder where I did what I did with my distress tool. That would be the mystery of the day. Do we search for it or do we not? Give me one quick second. It might just be within reach. Nope, it is not. Okay, Kara Renee. <laughs> you don't need to have a distress tool. I just like it because it's just easier. So I have the Tim Holtz one, the little, um, you know, the little one that's like that big, but it seems to be hiding right now. So I've got this one from uh, Prima. So we'll use that. So, but we're not there yet. So now you're going to open it back up. And we're gonna go like that and we're gonna glue with a glue stick. We're just gonna glue um, here so that we can fold that back in half. So I'm gonna do that. I love that some little girl colored that though. I think it's so cool. If I hadn't stamped on that, I would maybe have that show but because I, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So there we go. And then you're going to fold it again uh, the other way. Um, I'm trying to decide which way I want that to be. I think I want it to be this way because I want that torn bit to be on the back. So I'm going to just going to reverse the fold there. And uh, every book, every page in the book has the story of Heidi at the top. So in that way, they're going to be very similar, but that's okay. I will be sewing around these so I'm not too concerned about uh, really good glue coverage. If you were going to not sew, you'd probably want to be a little bit more um, careful or precise rather. There we go. And I like this because um, they're fairly thick. Uh, I don't like a super thin tag because I feel like they don't they don't go into pockets and things very well when they're when they're super thin. Hope you guys are doing okay. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the Pacific Northwest, in the United States. Bright and sunny. I think it's supposed to be like 70 something degrees today, which is crazy. My uh, shared shared as kind of an announcement on the channel that my mom did pass away on Tuesday of this week, which was Tuesday the 25th. Um, I am recording this late in the week uh, for um, publishing next week. So I'm still laying low and um, trying to remove all expectations from my life so that I can process what I need to process. Um, so, so yeah, this is my first video. Well, my second, actually, there will be a Sunday's Art of Truth on Sunday the 30th because I was so, um, 
I just needed to, I needed to do a Sunday's Art of Truth. <laughs> so I hope you guys will check it out. It will actually have already aired by the time you see this, so you could go back and check it out. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my tag shapes, and then I'm going to scooch over to the sewing machine and sew these. And so I will be back in a quick moment. Okay, so these are all sewn up. Got some strange strings going on. I always think I want to keep those on, but then I end up cutting them off. So let's just uh, get that out of the way. <clears throat> so now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna distress the edges a little bit and ink them up. Of course, you don't have to distress. I just like that rough edge. Oh, that got really torn. That might not be a great plan here, Karen, eh? I'm going to be more gentle. I don't want to cut my sewing strings either, so just to give it a little bit more of a, a rough edge, like it's been really tattered and beat up, so that will do. Boy, that was interesting. I like it, though. So I'm hoping that um, you guys are being creative. I have, uh, I have not. Um, I've actually been home a lot through this whole thing, but um, I sit, come in the studio and I sit and I'm just, I'm lost and then I start crying and so then I go do some expressive work, do some writing, uh, take a nap, doing a lot of resting because otherwise I will get sick from the emotional stress. Unfortunately, um, due to the complication in the relationship and family, I, I can't go, I couldn't go and uh, be with my sister and uh, because her husband is always there. So I just decided I, I didn't have to do that. I, I couldn't do it and and that's okay and uh, I figure God knows and you know if that's the wrong thing in other people's eyes then then that's that's okay um, I accept that but um, I have to do what I need to do for my well-being and for my sense of safety even though I'm a grown woman um, those things linger, you know. So, there we go. Um, I love them. Look at look at that tattery bit there. So even though we're going to probably cover that up, um, I like it. And these ones I probably hold on to for the um, the fairy journals, just because you know I can. So I should probably stitch those two. I'll do that later. Goodness gracious, I am all sorts of sideways. So I have a couple glues. I've got my Fabri-Tac, my art glitter glue, and I've got my inking as you already saw. So I think what we're gonna start with is we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So let me show you the stamps that I decided to use. So um, th these are both from the shabby, tr I mean the, um, the travel themed subscription box. This is January, 2023, I believe. So we've got this cool locomotive train is really cool it's it's interesting somebody told me you can pull this off but I feel like if I try to pry that off it's going to take the picture off because I've had stamps like that so I'm just going to work around it I just put a little bit of um, glue stick on the top and then put it on a on a block um, like this and then go ahead and stamp and then this is this is not from the um, the current box that I'm working with but I like that it's got the um, address and the little um, mail kind of feel to it so that's what I want to use so um, it's a little bit big but that's okay so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on here and on the it doesn't take a lot of glue um, it's just basically just so it'll stick to the to the um, the acrylic block so we're going to go ahead and oh, this is not a good size so let me grab one more goodness gracious and it's for this one I always have a hard time telling which way direction it goes it goes that way so um, I'm going to put that down and I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm trying to think about where I would like this one I think I want this at the top and it can actually go off 
the edge. I'm not concerned about that. So I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, archival ink. This is Vintage Photo. I think I used this stamp before and I probably stamped it in black, but Vintage Photo is my preferred ink. So again, it goes this way. So I'm going to um, put a little piece of paper towel down here just so I don't get that on my, my glass here. Probably not a big deal. And I'm going to kind of go off here. I'm just trying to line it up with the words a little bit. And I don't remember what box this is from, you guys. It was a um, like a letter writing or book kit subscription box theme. So, oh, that's so faint. What the heck? I'm not feeling that at all. Hmm. I wonder if it's because I'm using the uh, this ink, but you know what? It is what it is, so we're going to go with it. I'm not going to stress about it. Maybe we'll do this one in black. How about that? Kind of compare the difference here too. So I'm going to get my black ink out. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm just going to give it a really good ink there. And we're going to set that aside. I'm bummed about that that um, impression though but it's okay and I'm gonna go up here probably about here on this one and just gonna give it a good press yeah I think the problem is is that the stamp I used on my sample was a lot bigger so see how it's just over it's overtaking everything so I wonder if we should dig that out and see if there's anything else in here that we could use to fill the space so I keep my uh, your creative studio stamps together here so I think maybe we'll go in for another stamp here just because I'm not I'm not feeling that right this I don't like that so I could actually easily go over it like so so let's do that. Sorry for the waffling. <clears throat> it happens. And I don't want to take those off, so I'm just going to grab one more block. This is a little locomotion, locomotive too. And I'm going to go in with the black. Is that the black? Yeah. I have a very little focus right now, so apologize if I'm a little bit wobbly. Put that train right there. It's okay to make mistakes. Nothing that can't be fixed, right? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So, I think we're going to just be good with that one and just let it be. There we go. So, now we're going to build some clusters here. We're going to put some toppers. So let me show you what I pulled from my stash. So I took a couple of buttons and put a little bit of thread in them. So those will go on the piece as well. Got some textiles here. Sorry, I'm off camera. And these are bits from the uh, subscription box. So is, aren't these cool? So we're going to do some layering with those. I took up part of the paper and I did some embossing. I thought this would be fun to put on here. I'm going to ink the ink it so that the embossing will show. I just need to grab my my other um, sponge here and use my vintage photo and then just see what kind of texture we get. Oh, cool. It's so cool to use projects in ways that you that are not traditional. You know, I mean, you look at a piece of paper and you're like, oh, I have to use it as a piece of paper. I have to make a tag out of it. I, you know, whatever. But I am loving that. Look at that. So I just ran that through my emboss. Whoops. I ran that through my embossing machine using a 3D embossing folder from Sizzix. So we've got that. I'm just going to sort a little bit. I have another 3D. Uh, embossing folder that I thought we'd make a tab with this one or something going off the side. I'm not exactly sure, but I've got a couple of those. These are um, cut from some of my my own mixed media paper that I've done that was like a bad print. 
and I've also got these that could be a topper. So I haven't quite decided what I want to do. I've got a little bit of vellum piece from the subscription box as well. I've got a couple of sentiments. I've got some sticker sticker stamps. Aren't those cool? I probably cut them down. So we'll see how that goes because I don't. Um, they're a little bit big for this project. I got some more vellum. I'm just going to quarter, just kind of sort these. So took one of the pieces of paper and I tried to emboss it, but look what happened. It tore. So I, I don't know what I did wrong. Again, I'm not quite right in my mind right now. So, but I thought these could still be used even though they're messed up. So I'm going to set those aside in case I want to go ahead and, and give them a second life. Another piece of vellum, another piece of vellum, probably won't use all of this. And then a couple of labels. And then I took another of the pages um, that's like a world map and I did the same thing. I ran it through. This is a regular embossing folder that has roses on it. So let me ink that up so you guys can see what that looks like. I'm trying to keep this closer here today uh, so you don't have as much ability to see everything on my desk. Oh, this is cool. Cool, cool. We're definitely gonna use this paper because I love it. I love it. I'll show you what it looks like all inked up. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? Thank you, your creative studios, for a beautiful image to play with. This is another piece. This is um one of the, is this the sticker one? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, this is the sticker paper. So every design, there's four designs and every one of them has a sticker paper. So we'll see about using that as well. Um, obviously I cannot use everything that I have here because I'm only doing two tags. So let's get going. So I thought we would use this as um, a bottom layer. So I'm just gonna kind of tear it. And all these scraps will be saved. So don't you worry about that. I'm just going to tear this and hopefully, um, kind of ashamed to put this on the bottom, but we're going to, uh, maybe we'll put another piece on the top. So I'm not going to overthink this either. So I'm just going to zip on through and not um, contemplate things very much. I do also have some textiles I want to make sure that I don't forget about. So this is the coffee dyed lace. I just actually made this um, and I used it in the other, the other one. So I thought we would, we would go ahead and do that again. Let's see how I want that to be. Maybe like that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna trim that off the side here. I'm just kind of following that without cutting it, following that line from the paper and the same on the top. like so. Beautiful. We'll probably do another piece of this because I really don't want to lose that beautiful texture. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my lace down. I don't want it to stick. I've, well, if I make this a tag pocket, I could have it hang off. I think I will do that on this one. I love to see lace hanging off of the bottom of ephemera. So we're going to do that like so. Do you want to be able to see some of that stitching though? There we go. And then we'll go ahead and get that on there. Oh, that's beautiful already. We just started. And this side is the debossed side. So you can even see how beautiful that is. It's just debossed instead of embossed. So the impression is going in. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and put this here like so, beautiful. And then let's use a piece of this paper as well. So I'm gonna, again, tear this down. There will not be any waste, I promise. Let's see what end do I want? Uh, I think I want this end to go, come off.
I love that. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's do it. I'm going to bring this one up a little way so that we can actually see parts of it in the design here. And then we'll put that there and we'll probably put another vellum on the top of this because I love that idea. So I'll show you which one I'm thinking of using. So it's, it's interesting that I've been drawn to some of this uh, travel stuff. I don't travel. I, I'm a homebody. I don't travel. But this stuff is just so absolutely beautiful. So here is a piece of vellum that I thought that's pretty dark. Let's see if we can get something lighter like that I think would be better maybe that edge yeah <clears throat> so I don't travel um, my husband doesn't like to travel uh, I don't really I like to be at home I mean, we do go places but it's it's not not all that often to be honest so I feel like that might be a little bit big so I'm going to take a little bit more off the bottom and I love the way El Bellum inks up it just looks so vintagey and cool really old like it's been handled by a lot of people mm, I love that look at that you guys epic so this one I'm putting on here because this this is going to show more than the one I put on the bottom so I'm just using my Fabri-Tac and then just kind of spreading that out so that I don't get um, lines of glue which can happen and I'm just kind of kind of put it there look at that you guys epic epic cluster awesome awesome okay so what else do we want on here I think I want another piece of textile and then probably our word oh we got our stamps too I don't want to forget the stamps so do I want to introduce some of this red in here I wonder if these will cut with my with my um, my circle punch shall we find out um, shall we Shall we, shall we? I'm just gonna try my butterfly butterfly punch here and see. I don't know if I can get it to go in there though. Come on, come on. What's, what's holding you up, lady? Oh my goodness gracious. Maybe we, what is stuck? But it's stuck. Okay. Oh, but it's upside down. I need to see it. That was the whole point. Oh my gosh. So again, you don't have to use things the way they were designed. I mean, look at this. To capture that, just that word Paris, let's hope. Fingers crossed. Yes! It punched beautifully. So now I need to get a piece of tape because I know I won't be able to get that off. What did I do with my tape? I've got a mess on my desk currently, so I don't know what I did with it. Let's see if we can do it. Do you believe in me? I believe in you. We got it. Okay. Here's our butterfly. We're gonna put her right on top of this bit. Or we'll put her, maybe we'll put her off to the side a little bit. What's this? Afterthought. Oh, I love that. I love that. So you can see a little bit of the Eiffel, Ta Eiffel Tower. Perfect, I like it. Not what I planned, but it's beautiful. So now let's get our sentiment. So I picked two different ones. Um, the, the seller that I got these from, the strips are really long, so, but um, they are made so that you can cut them apart and they don't look weird. So we're gonna use this one. A little lost, a lot found. That's what we're gonna use on this one. And on the other one, it's a curious girl, a wanderer. Are you a wanderer? I am not a wanderer. <clears throat> I'm a straight and narrow kind of girl. Straight and narrow. I am loving this, loving this a lot. So 
let's go ahead and put one of them up there. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac just because it's it's what's right here. A little lost. A lot found. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's decide on a topper for this. So I have a couple of medallions that I did, and I'm thinking that I would really like to use this one. It's a little bit big, but I think we're going to fold it and see what happens. See if we can make that work. So I'm going to try to fold it in half, like so. Okay. And let's ink her up. I'm probably going to have to ink on the other side because it's white. And that white will show, so give me just a quick second. So it's a little bit, um, well, I may have to cut it off because that looks weird. So let me just trim it off of both edges about at the same spot if I can. I think that works just fine. I really should stitch it, but I'm not gonna. We're just gonna move on here. I'm not, not super thrilled about how that turned out, you guys, but that's okay. Not everything that we do, we love. So it is all right. So we're just going to put that on top of there. Um, because now that I'm looking at it, it's not even stamped on there straight. So, but we're going to just embrace imperfection here, you guys. And if I decide not to put these in the journal, I won't. I'll, maybe I'll try again. So there we go. There's our topper. And so I think because I've got this kind of pinkish, reddish color of the butterfly down here, I think I'm going to use this button, this heart-shaped button, and I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac and be patient and let it dry. It's a little bit thick, but I, as I've mentioned before, I do allow bulk in my journals, so because this is the kind of work that I like to do. So... That's what we have. So I just do not like that at all. Really, really bummed about that, but it is okay. I'm gonna embrace it. Let's get to the second one. Okay, so I'm gonna speed through this one just a little bit, you guys, because you don't need to see every detail. Creative flow is stunted, you guys, so I apologize. This is definitely not my best work, but the idea here was to show you how you can use the cre your Creative Studio subscription box and create some really beautiful ephemera for your journals, as well as this is a nifty book page trick. I love this idea, again, from Shinoki Art. I would do this different in the future in terms of my stamping and decorating of the tag base. I would definitely do that different. So I hope that you'll forgive me for being a little bit, a little bit wonky. So I think I want to just use this one um, as part of the cluster. So this is again one of the medallion ones cut from my own vintage um, mixed media, my own mixed media paper rather. 
so I don't know if I want to do that though because I don't want to lose anything here maybe we could go up like that I think that would be really pretty so let's do that I think I, I feel like I want some lace under it though you know me and my lace gotta have it gotta have it let's see if we've got a piece that's gonna work as far as size I generally don't like to put square pieces underneath stuff because it looks weird. Like that looks weird. I can't do it. How about a little bit of this um, gauze? I coffee dyed this as well. A little bit of gauze on the top work. Sure, why not? I'm going to put it off to this side though because I don't want to really lose that those letters do I want to do I want the letters or do I want the numbers Kara Renee decide I think I want it over here <clears throat> I just kind of scrunch it up a little bit here and just set it on there like so and then our little bit medallion will hold a lot of that on uh, post gluing we go that is beautiful even with this the wonky stamping I like that I love this one a lot better though in the future I maybe would stamp that on a piece of paper and then put it on the the card but that's okay so let's go ahead and decide on our sentiment here I'm going to cut this one down as well and cut it in uh, two pieces it's a little bit long I will link um, I will link these as well in the supply list um, and the supply list is over on my blog and a link to the blog can be found in the description box and the reason why I do that is because I put a lot of photos over there as well as that's where I write my Sunday's Art of Truth and things that's kind of my home so you can check it out if you'd like but you won't find the supply list in the description box is what I'm saying generally speaking You'll see the the links to your creative studio though and that information you will find there So ooh, maybe we want to put the button here. That would be pretty We still have to decide on a topper for this one. So I have that other piece of, of This I think would be really pretty to bring in um, Just the, the how of doing this is the key here. So let's see and just cut this end off and I like it just like that I do have to cut it though so it's going to be two-sided here I'll have to glue it on both sides instead of wrapping it around that's okay so let's go ahead and glue this on after I ink it and as I mentioned I am covering up that stitching I kind of knew that I would end up doing that that's okay. Turn it over and put the same one on the put the other one on the back. I'm gonna put an extra bit of glue on here because this does have some cuts in it, and I want to make sure it doesn't tear off. So make this as secure as possible here. So I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna pick it up and see if it's everything's lining up like so. Front and back looks great. Get a paper towel here. There we go. Got a little bit of a hang over there, but I'll just ink that up. That should be nice and solid there. And let's glue, glue this button on and our sentiment, and then we will be done. I hope that you guys enjoyed even the wonkiness of my creativity here today. It happens, don't you know? Life doesn't stop, though. Life doesn't stop. We can slow it down take care of ourselves and feed our souls and all of that stuff which I've been doing so I almost want to put this up here because I feel like I'm really cluttered down here um, 
yeah I'm just gonna just gonna stick it in here though because I don't want to cover up those it would look weird just on top of the book page because it's word on word and that's just my opinion that might be okay with you guys so a little button moved so we've got a curious girl a wanderer so guys I thank you for stopping by and I will see you in the next video take care bye bye